Well, it's no secret that glyphosate-resistant weeds are becoming more of a problem for farmers all over the world. But what role do cover crops play in this situation, and how does it vary between the U.S. and the U.K.? Check out a clip from the latest episode of the Cover Crop Strategies podcast, where weed science specialist John Cousins talks a little bit about annual ryegrass and Italian ryegrass as they relate to herbicide resistance. Now with glyphosate, we see issues with Italian ryegrass where we don't see the same problem with black grass, Alipaturus, which would be our most widespread weed. We don't see the same problem in our brome species or wild oats. Or It, it really does seem that Italian ryegrass has this disproportionate propensity to develop herbicide resistance. As to why that is, um, you know, all projects end with a requirement for more funding. That's where we'll, we'll finish. But I think... One of the things that we're seeing with, with as we begin to look a little bit more at ryegrass is just how incredibly genetically diverse the background is. So we have all sorts of types. We have all sorts of different levels of dormancy and germination patterns. We see differences in vernalization requirement in wild populations. So there's this massive genetic diversity, and there's almost a kind of a soup of lowlium genetics in the landscape because we've got perennial, uh, you know, we living in the landscape. And it's just a super genetics, and I think that gives you the raw ingredients to, to go on and select for herbicide resistance. Well, if you want to hear more about John's research and why glyphosate resistance in the UK might be an even bigger deal than it is here in the US, be sure to head to CoverCropStrategies.com to check out the full episode of the podcast. Well, that's all for this week's Cover Crop Connection. Until next time, I'm McCain Vogel.